All right, all right, my beautiful friends, here we go. Today is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. Let's sit down together. If you're not sitting, please do that. Let's talk about what's happening here because it's just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's part of this thing that we are in right now. Let's start off with the markets. Uh, as I am doing this video blog, stocks appear poised for a slightly lower open, which is a major turnaround from last night. We'll talk about that in a moment here. So yeah, stocks are flat to, uh, to slightly lower. Trading doesn't actually begin for about 40 minutes. Let's look at a couple of other things. 10-year yield, 0.81 dollars stronger today right now because of the news we got last night. Again, hold that thought. Gold and silver, unfortunately, are under some pressure because of the stronger dollar. Cryptocurrencies continue to get bid higher. Bitcoin near 13,000. Crude oil is slightly higher. Now, let me let me tell you what happened last night. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the stock market futures. They're about flat. All of a sudden, I'm literally watching them and I see it drop like triple digits continue to fall with down like 200 points with regard to Dow futures. I'm like, what just happened? So I'm trying to dig up something. Okay, what did we find out? Well, apparently the FBI made some special announcement last night saying our national security has yet again failed us here in the United States. They were not prepared for some kind of a cyber attack from Iran and Russia to influence our election. Duh! I mean, we've really been hearing about this for the longest time. So our inept national security, national security, allowed Iran and Russia to get in here and, and rig the election yet again. First of all, I don't buy any of it. There's something else going on. Uh, what an admission, a stunning admission by our national security that they can't keep us secure. <gasps> Can I see your shocked face, please? Remember, I can see you through the camera. This is obviously some kind of a psyop, some kind of a joke yet again. They should all be fired. If this is true, that our national security allowed yet again foreign nation to get in here and try to rig our election, what, what, what is this? What's going on here? It's incredible. Time and time again, America seems to be on the losing end of everything. Uh, but again, this is not what it seems. There's something else going on quite obviously. So again, stock futures plunged on this news. Nearly recovered fully uh, right now. But we'll see how this plays out today. Again, the carrot is being hung in front of your face. Here it is. Here it is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is what they're doing to the American people that want them to beg on their hands and knees. Period. The end. Very uh, disturbing, if you ask me. I'll tell you something else that's disturbing, if you ask me. In fact, it's worse than that. We just got another staggering number with regard to uh, first-time unemployment claims. They just came in at another 787,000. Let that sink in. First time unemployment claims for last week, another 787,000. Okay, Larry Kudlow came out and followed that up and said, hey, well, the numbers weren't as bad as we thought. We were expecting like north of 900,000. This is the same guy who's been selling us or trying to sell us that we're in some kind of a V-shaped recovery. Can't make this stuff up. Now, yesterday, the narrative changed. Did you pick up on this? It's no longer a V-shaped recovery. He said specifically live on CNBC, our recovery is so strong, it's immeasurable. It's so strong, you can't even measure it right now. This is how the lie of a V-shaped recovery has now taken, gone to the next level. You can't again make this stuff up if you tried. Kudlow, blow boy over there, is doing a little too much. I don't know what's happening why the lies continue to get larger. Actually, that's not true. The bigger a lie is, the easier it is for people to believe it. So now it's so big, this recovery, you can't even measure it. Meanwhile, we just lost, well, we just had another 787,000 people file for unemployment 
claims first time last week, but as of what Larry just said, we expected it to be worth worse the the like north of nine hundred thousand. So this is a great number. Do you hear this? Do you hear what's going on here? Can't make it up, but that's the environment we are in. It's so freaking sick. Anyway, so that's the story. Uh, apparently, like I said, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing. Our national security just can't keep us secure. What a shock. It's not real. Something else is going on here. They, they were supposed to be at least prepared for this. That's what we've been hearing about for months. We're ready for it this time. We're not going to let it happen, and we won't tolerate it if it does. Well, apparently it just happened again, proving that our national security are inept idiots. What, an, what a stunning admission. It was crazy. I'm literally, like I said, I'm watching the stock futures in real time, and boom! I'm like, what was that? Anyway, it doesn't really matter, look. Um, the real story, again, is the carrot. They're going to hang that in front of your face. Who knows, maybe as I am doing this video blog, stock trading doesn't start for about 35 minutes. They're floating out some great news on this uh, on this stimulus package <laughs> that the Senate couldn't get their own bill through yesterday. Unbelievable, what a clown show. All right, look, um, that's pretty much where we stand, people. Keep our eyes on all this stuff. If they can hit gold and silver, like I said, they're under pressure. That's an opportunity in my view. Cryptocurrencies are going much higher along with gold and silver as this debt explosion continues. We know where this is all going. I think it's pretty obvious, at least at this point, should be to you. Um, so that's it. I will keep you on top of this throughout the day. Uh, follow me on Twitter at least. And I'll see you at the end of the day. It's going to be all kinds of fun. <laughs>